thanks so much for joining me today on Gina Haynes TV. Today we are going in to talk with Joanne Lang. Joanne is a harbour pilot right here out of Littleton and she loves her work. So come on, join me. Let's go. Yep, my name is Joanne Lang and I'm a harbour pilot at the Port Littleton. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, Joanne? It means that I go out on a smaller boat, what they call the pilot boat, and, and board a ship outside the heads and guide the, the vessel into port. So what happens in New Zealand, um, any ship, well most ports are pretty much the same, any ship over um, 40 metres in length or over 500 tonnes gross needs a pilot to, um, to pilot the vessel in. So the pilot goes on board the ship and speaks to the captain and we, we have what we call a passage plan or pilot plan and say to the captain, well this is your berth, you'll be having two tugs and this is the route we'll be taking, the channel will be going you know, 12 knots here, 10 knots here, 8 knots here, the tugs will join us in this position and then we place the ship alongside. I speak to the tugs, I tell the tugs what to do and then speak to the guys on the wharf about what lines to put out. Basically, that's it. Mm. Basically. Mm. Sounds easy. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll slip out there and do that myself. No, not at all. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to. That sounds a, a really different kind of work. Mm. How did you get into it? So I grew up in Littleton, born and bred Littletonian yeah, and yeah. I was in the Sea Scouts or the Sea Ventures on the harbour so I spent my time growing up with boats also. We spent yeah. a lot of time at Stewart Island so I did a lot of dinghy work and, and things like that. Yeah. And then when I left high school, I went to Polytech for a year and did a science technician's course, which helped a lot to my career at sea, but never mind. <laughs> <Dinner>. <laughs> but um, during that year, two uh, other guys within uh, our venture group, we sort of got talking about um, what we're going to do. And, and my father had actually shown me a magazine, um, Union Steamship Company, an old New Zealand shipping company. Mm. They had a picture of a lady called uh, Rosalind um, Lidstone on the cover and she was the first female to go away as an apprentice deck officer. Okay. And I thought, oh yeah, that would be quite good. Yeah. But um, the other two guys and I, we all sort of applied to Union Steamship Company and we all got accepted. So in oh, 1981. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you all ended up working together? Yep. And then um, yeah. probably 18, 17 years later we all ended up piloting here together. Really? Mm. So mm. you've always kind of had the whole water thing mm. going on? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And my father was involved in the industry. He was um, what we, I call a, um, a shipping master. So he he ran he was in the shipping office here in Littleton. So yeah, I think he had quite a few connections, and it sort of helped in me getting away to sea. But um, it doesn't bother me at all. That, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you like it? Oh, it was great. It was great. Yeah, but so when I was went away when I was 18 years old, and um, I was, so I was most of the time the only woman on the ship. I and, bet. Yeah. So yeah. I was an apprentice deck cadet. So we what we were called we called the lowest of the low. We we do all the horrible jobs. That's what my brother used to tell me anyway. Like you'll be just treated like absolute rubbish. Yeah. And um, I did, you only got three weeks leave a year, so I went away to sea and I didn't come home probably for nine months before I came home. My mother checked me for tattoos to make sure I was all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all free, but yeah. And you told me before that you became like a captain, of, mm -hmm. so tell me about that. To get your master's certificate takes about 10 years. Wow. So at the end of my apprenticeship, I ended up with what we call your second mate for ongoing certificate. That takes about three years. Yeah. And then you get so much sea time and then you do your chief mate for ongoing certificate. And then so much more sea time and then do your master for ongoing certificate. And I was the first woman in New Zealand to get my master for ongoing certificate. Are there any more now? Yes, yeah, there's quite a few. I, I don't really keep track no, of... No, but there's more than just you. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Then I was with, working with Jardines and they, I was due back to sea in January. And I called them up and said, oh, what ship am I joining? This time they said, I was chief mate at that stage. And they said, oh, haven't you received our letter? And I said, no. They said, oh, you've been made redundant. I oh, said, no. oh, which redundancy doesn't incur any money payout or anything. So I thought, oh, okay, oh, good. It's time for me to settle back in New Zealand because I was doing probably nine months away a year. So it's like a good idea to yeah. settle back down. And then they called me up like a week or so later and said, oh, oh, we've got a, we've got a ship for you. We want you to join the Castillo de Oro. I said, oh, as master. I said. Oh, <laughs> so that's quite, a, a, you know, it was pretty exciting mm -hmm. and, um, and again I was the first woman to get a command in New Zealand. I joined the ship in Gothenburg and then um, we went down to Belgium, uh, to, um, Antwerp, sorry, to Antwerp and then um, I took command of the ship from the, the captain but then we, we left um, Antwerp under pilotage and we went aground in my first couple of hours of <laughs> command, oh, so right. it's pretty huge, yeah. Is that what yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that one of those moments where you suddenly go, oh my god, uh, oh, yeah. Because the this? other captain said to me, Joanne, what's going on? I said, we're aground, Derek. He said, 
what? <laughs> I said, <laughs> yeah, so we had to get tugs to come and pull us off and then the ship went over to Tilbury and then the ship was arrested for payment of salvage from the tug company. So it was all, it was all that stuff I'd learned at, at school, like you think will never ever happen. happen in it, yeah. So there's a lot of court, big court case about um, paying the salvage. For the, but no, there's no damage or anything. Got they got us off yeah, very quickly, it wasn't, yeah. didn't take long, but um, yeah, it was oh a pretty gosh. interesting start to my um, command. Yeah, it was pretty full on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but what did you, well, how did you feel? Did you, what did you do? Well, you, there were then all of a sudden there was um, lawyers on board and everything. I was being interviewed and it was pretty out there, yeah. Yeah, because you're responsible. Yeah, 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 definitely. And I, I, I probably didn't talk about it too much, but oh, now, now, now then, I openly, yeah. openly talk about it. But it was quite a major thing in my life, definitely. Yeah, but I carried on. I did, um, you know, I probably did seven months on that ship. So I kept going, and mm -hmm. and I got through that. And and the company were really good. Like you know, they they supported yeah. me all the way through. Did you get a lot of ribbing from the crew? Oh uh, no, probably from people at home who found out about more <laughs> more than that. Yeah, but that's, like, that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah but yeah. no, and then I went on. I did. Um, I spent. Uh, it was ninety three, beginning of ninety three, and I left at the end of ninety seven. So I had yeah. almost five years as master on seven different ships. So, okay. So and I that's got, the only time you ran. Yeah. Well. So I got through that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it was great. No, I really enjoyed it. Okay, yeah, so yeah. on the pilot boat, we've got a driver. And a crew, a yes, D10. that's right. Yes, and then we've got a uh, sound as though I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. No, no, no. You're good. You you're good. Me, you told yeah. me. Yeah, and I listened really carefully. And so you <laughs> jump onto the the little taxi. Yeah, and that zips you out about a mile and a half offshore. So that's right. Yeah, couple of k. Yeah, and then you, what do you do? Yeah, then <laughs> this is the exciting. Yeah, thing. that was good. Well, actually, on the trip out, we we discuss the rugby and what's going on. Okay. We have some great discussions, as you can imagine. Right. So, so then on the way out, uh, yeah, we call the ship up and ask what side the pilot ladder is. Okay. Yep. So and they drop a ladder down. They have a ladder. It's this quite yeah, quite specific. Um, Specifications for what the ladder is like, and we say we want it two meters above the um, the, the water level, and um, and I don't want any man ropes or anything like that. Okay, oh, comes a friend. What are man ropes? Hi, um, they're um, <laughs> yes, hello. Oh, fabulous, yeah. <laughs> they're um, they're ropes that normally when you're disembarking a ship, you can some, you hold those, you pull you pull them down, and yeah, hold, when you some. You can hang on to those when you go down the ladder quickly, but I don't do that. Oh, I, you come down one step. At I, a I time come down one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. Is he all right there? Is that He's right? perfect. Okay, He's gorgeous. <laughs> You're a star. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so then we stay the ship where we want a speed of eight knots. Yep. Make sure the speed, and then the um, pilot boat comes around. So sometimes you get quite a big swell, so you've got to watch them and make sure you're on the top of the swell. Because and then when you go up, and it's a bit of a leap of faith, isn't it? It is because there's no harnessing or anything. It's, yeah. it, because it's too dynamic, too dynamic. You're two different moving yeah, ships, yeah. so yeah, you yeah. can't really have anything like that. And have then, you ever fallen in? No, no. Oh, that's yeah. yeah well, let's <laughs> yeah. do some more. Yeah. some wood. Yeah. Yeah. So and it was quite a reasonable sized uh, ladder, I suppose. And then um, then somebody will meet me at the top, and then mm -hmm. they'll escort me to the bridge. And in the old days, um, somebody told me this once when you first start and it's true when you first start you say to the captain on the ship uh, have you got a or the guy who meets you have you got a working bow thruster but when you've been doing it for a bit longer you say have you got a lift because <laughs> sometimes it's like nine flights of stairs once you've climbed up the ladder to actually oh, get to I the bridge imagine. yeah yeah You'd it's quite exhausted yeah and mm. and you there is a fair amount of um you know like, there's a bit of that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, like yeah. i said to you before i want to feel those muscles, muscles yeah, on, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing nothing <laughs> major <laughs> i reckon i could do it yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> no, yeah yeah i don't think i could but i just think for me oh you would be fine it's like it's actually most of the time it's just like a wall it's just it, like yeah. climbing a brick wall yeah you know yeah which it's you just, do every day not yeah yeah but i think um for me, that leap of faith on from what, leaving one platform onto the next would be the, the yeah. tricky thing. Yeah, it is. And I think you're right if you're just lying like this, but mm -hmm. if you are moving, and I think yeah. you just have to think, well, I've just got to do it. Yeah, I know, I don't. Yeah, so then, and then, yeah, so then when I get onto the bridge of the ship, as I say, I've got the passage pan and present it to the captain. And, yeah. 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 And normally they'll make me a cup of tea. Yeah. And, and then, you can have a cup of tea and a lie down after that great. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's so, good. Um, okay, what about. Joanne, the person, mm -hmm. who, if, if I asked you to um, talk about your strengths, what would you say are your strengths? Oh, I'm not really a great person for that sort of thing, really, I must mm -hmm. admit, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's a toughie, is she? A Jojo? I don't know. Do I get, um, 
I try not to get too excited about things, I yeah, think. Yeah. Mind you, Pretty maybe easy. I do. My mother says when I'm watching rugby, don't be too loud. Do like, you love yeah. rugby? Yeah, I, yeah, I like yeah. watching. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 No, I just like, I quite like people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like people. Yeah. yeah. Do we like the interaction with the people, you know, on the ships as well? It's always a bit of a laugh. Like sometimes, you know, they'll ask for my name and they'll look for the logbook and I'll say, you know, do you want my telephone number as well? And <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. So what do you think drives you? What keeps you motivated? I do love the job. You know, I love the job. It's great. It is just, uh, you know, we, we get the ship alongside and it's all tied up and yeah, it's a good feeling. It is yeah. a really good feeling. Is it a satisfying feeling? Very, yeah, very yeah. satisfying. Yeah. And what do you think, why? What what makes it satisfying? Uh, I suppose I feel it is a, is a bit of a skill and, it, and it's taken years to, oh, to yeah. develop. Yeah. 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 You're getting into some a, a new ship every time you've got to park it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there must be a real sense of satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. And you, you try, try and feel her out and feel how she reacts. But no, most of the jobs we do now, they've all got two tugs. So we've. But when I first started, we had um, a lot of fishing boats were coming in here, and you just have one tug, and they wouldn't have a bow thruster or so a stern thruster. So you do the fishing boats too? Yes. Yeah. Anything over forty meters. So that okay. when, probably when I first started, we did a lot, a lot, and they. Were, I spent many hours sort of going in circles around the inner harbour with a big strong northwesterly wind trying to get or some of the Korean fishing boats with, with no tugs. You just, you know, you You would do that? Yeah, but yeah. in those days it was a bit bravado. You don't, oh no, you don't need a tug for that. But nowadays we would, we okay. would put a tug on it definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And ha have you had many near to near misses? Like yeah, there's a few yeah, yeah. things things happen. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. And I, I remember just my first, yeah, my first solo job, which was in. Um, must have been January 1998 or something. It was a big, huge southerly blowing, mm. and I had to put a a ship, a fishing boat at it's what we call Z berth, which is on the other, the eastern side of the entrance to the inner harbour, and it was blowing a huge southerly. And I woke up, my bedrooms are downstairs, and I had the curtains open. I I look out the window, and there's huge waves coming through that you know, no tug or anything like that. And I had to put the ship. Um, just ahead, it was a ship on the outside, I had eight metres ahead and eight metres astern with no tag, no bow thrust or anything. So I came screaming through the moles and, and backed her up and then, and I got it in there, perfect, it was awesome. I never ever did it like that again, like I reckon <laughs> it was the best, it was amazing, yeah. Did yeah. you just totally feel proud Yeah, yeah, it was so oh, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, it was good, yeah. No, it was a lot of yeah, interesting, inter interesting, met a lot of interesting people. And yeah, that's, so your internal drivers, I think, are maybe that self-satisfaction, oh, yeah. that idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about external drivers? Have you got anything that externally that motivates you? Just um, lifestyle, I suppose. Yeah, yeah you guys. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can, I get a certain amount of leave and, and like one weekend in five, I finish at midday on a Thursday and start at midday on a Monday. Yeah. So I try and get away, like Stewart Island or whatever during that, that time. Yeah, yeah, just to get away. And that's what you love is that freedom. Mm. Maybe that's part yeah, of and it, is the, the and freedom. It, uh, definitely, and it works good for like, you know, my mother's here, so I can, if I was working nine to five, it'd be difficult to get all, you know, take her to the doctor and do bits and pieces yeah, like that. So yeah. it's just that flexibility of the hours is, is really good. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it fun? Yeah. Is that important for you? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's for me, like, I can't, yeah. I'm not mm. good unless I've got lots of. Yeah, no, it's good. And, and it's all the interaction with the people's really good too. Like, we're also. We, we speak to the container team, all the guys that are organising all the cargo and, and the work that's going on in the ships. We got, you know, how's this, like that container ship supposed to sail at one or two in the morning, I think. And then we mm -hmm. probably, if I was on duty, you know, I'd phone them up a couple of times. Oh, you know, how's she looking? When do you think she's going to finish? Or, or you go into the office and there's a bit of banter going on. So the relationships, maybe that's it. Yeah, definitely. And, and also being a local, being a little Tonian, like there's a lot of Littleton people. So there's a lot, there's people there that you know, I've known for all my life, like yeah, yeah. Growing, growing up and with. And the guys you work with. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's kind of yeah. well. So mm -hmm. within your role, mm -hmm. what is challenging for you? Um, weather? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, very challenging. Mm -hmm. I bet, because it's totally out of your control and the ships have got to come in. Mm, yeah. Can they stay offshore for how long? Yeah, they can. They can from wherever. They can, yeah. where, where they're out of storm, Yes, for definitely, yeah. definitely. And it, but it's just making that decision. You know, it's quite a big decision to make, you know, yeah. where you can or can't come in. We, we say 35 knot winds is the maximum, but. Um, you know, you can say that, and then you go and board a ship at 30 knots, and you're coming down the harbour, it gusts up to 50, so you've got to, you know, be prepared for that, and yeah. 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 Make sure you don't do any damage. Absolutely. Mm. What would you go back and tell your 18-year-old self? Um, yeah, so I went to sea when I was 18. 
Oh, stick it, stick with it. Yeah, stick with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So looking back, you'd just say, do the same. Yeah, thing. definitely. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. So if I said to you, okay, give me three words to describe Joanne, what oh, would you say? Oh. Noisy. Um, what is months that don't be noisy? Um, probably a bit mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, Social, <laughs> yeah. maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. So, what would you say if you finish this sentence? Work happiness, work happiness is my job. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, just a question: as a woman, you're working in a fairly male-dominated mm -hmm. environment, and but I guess because of the experience of you and and your life, you don't even find that's a problem. No. No, I don't. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. yeah, I don't put on any ears and graces, I suppose. That's probably, yeah. Spades a spade. Yeah, yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for joining me today for Joanne's interview. I hope you enjoyed hearing about her exciting work. I did. If you enjoyed this video, pop on over to GinaHaines.com and check out more work happiness interviews. And why not subscribe to my newsletter so you don't miss a beat. Thanks again for joining me and have a great day.